Hello friends, in this video I'm going to do uh, a number of examples on differentiation. Okay, so the question is, uh, differentiate the following function. Now these questions are taken from uh, level 3 and C exams. So, all I achieved question. So, let us differentiate. Now, this function is y is equal to uh, uh, 2x minus 7 to the power negative 1 quarter. Sorry, positive. 2x minus 7 to the power quarter. So, I'm going to use differentiate or de use a derivative operator on both sides. <coughs> so, d by dx of 2x minus 7 to the power quarter. So, I always like to differentiate the inside first and then the outside. So, when you differentiate the inside, when you differentiate 2x, you get 2 times, and the differentiation of negative 7 is 0 times, differentiate the whole thing, so it is quarter times 2x minus 7 to the power quarter minus 1 decrease the power by 1. So this is nothing but half times 2x minus 7 to the power negative 3 quarters. Okay, so this is your differentiation. Now your function, so here you can say this is a dy by dx. Now I want to check my answer by using uh, the graphic calculator whether the answer that I've got is right or wrong. Okay, now to check that, first you have to find uh, the derivative in any defined point. So here, yeah, the defined point, if you put say 4 here, so this will be 4, 8 minus, 8 minus 1 to the power 1, quarter. so this is the, at when x is 1, sorry, when x is 4, y has a value, so at 4, so I'll say what is the derivative at x is equal to 4. So this is half times, uh, so this is um, 8 uh, minus 1 is, 8 minus 7 is 1 to the power negative 3 quarters. Okay, so that is same as point phi. Uh, so let me use a calculator. So, so this is half times 1 to the power negative 3 quarters. So where's my calculator? This is my calculator. Menu, run. So this is 0.5 times 1 raised to uh, negative 0.75. That will give me. 0 0.5. So at this point it's 0. Point, 0 0.5. The derivative is 0 0.5. So let me use the calculator again. So I'll go option calculus d by dx of I start with the bracket because 2x minus 7 raised to 0.25 at say 4, comma says at 4, that is 0 0.5. So your answer is right. Okay, so you can give, you can be happy that you got the right answer. Okay, moving on to the next question. This is y is equal to 3 e to the power of 4x plus natural log of 5x plus 6. So you have to differentiate this separately. So say, okay, dy by dx. So here again, this is a composite function, so to differentiate 4x first, so that will be 4, so this is 3 times 4 times e to the power 4x plus natural, you differentiate this inside first, that is 5 times na differentiation of natural log of x is 1 over x, so this is 5x times 1 over 5x plus 6. You don't need to simplify this, but let me simplify to check my answer. So dy by dx is 12e to the power of 4x plus 
phi divided by 5x plus 6. So which will be a tidy number, yeah. So at 0, it is defined. So let us take 0. 0 will be a good number. So let's define what is dy by dx at x is equal to 0. So this is 12e to the power 0. Okay. Uh, plus phi over. This will become 0, 6. So let me get a calculator out. Menu. So this is run. That is 12e to the power 0 plus 5 6 is the answer which is 12 point so this is e to the power 0 is 1 so 12 plus so 12 point 12 and 5 6 is the answer 12.8333 victory so so this is the answer is 12 and 12.83 victory so let me use the calculator again so you go option calculus d by dx of uh, 3 times shift e to the power 4x plus natural log of 5x plus 6 close the bracket at 0 close the bracket 12.833 so this is again right so you can be proud so this is again a smiley face let me change color for the sake of changing color mm, okay so what's the next question the next question is uh, y is equal to x squared minus 1 times match 10x now here you have to use the product rule so d by dy by dx is equal to first i'll differentiate this so i'll say okay that is d by dx of x squared minus 1 times 10x so leave the second function as it is plus d by dx of 10x times the second function which is x squared minus 1 so d by dx of x x squared is 2x times 10x as it is plus d by dx of uh, 10x what is d by dx of 10x is 6 squared x so this is 6 squared x times x squared minus 1 just like that so this is your answer d by dx now I want to check my answer so 10 0 is defined this is also defined so let me find it zero so what is dy by dx at x is equal to zero so this will become zero so this is uh, negative one times because this is zero minus one is negative one one over cos squared zero cos zero is one Okay, so cos squared will also be 1, so I know this is, should be negative 1. That's the answer. So let me use the calculator. Uh, uh, d by dx of the function, which is, uh, I'll put the bracket here, x squared minus 1, comma, times uh, 10x. Close the bracket. Now I have to put comma at 0 and that's equal to negative one so that's also right okay now the next question <clears throat> this will be pretty easy this, you have to differentiate the inside first oops you have to differentiate the inside first and then the outside so d by dy by dx the difference is inside this is 2x minus 3 times differentiate to the outside drop the power down which is phi times x squared minus 3x to the power decrease the power by 1 which is 4 okay so let me simplify so dy by dx is nothing but phi times 2x minus 3 times x squared minus 3x to the power 4 
So is the function defined at 0? Yes, it is. So let us find dy by dx at 0. Because 0 is a tidy number, so you can get a neat answer. So this is 5 times negative 3. So this becomes 0. This is also 0. Uh, 0, so the whole thing becomes 0. So dy by dx at x is equal to 0 is 0. So where's my calculator? So option menu 1, <coughs> option and calculus uh, d by dx of, uh, let us put a bracket, x squared minus 3x to the power of 5 at 0. That's zero. So this is confirmed. So this answer is also right. I'll continue this in the next video.